Hey guys, um, this is just gonna be like a cage update and just like an update on everything really with my hamsters because I haven't made a video uh, since like September, October, I think. I've just been really busy with school and um, just pretty busy and then my camera like on my laptop was malfunctioning and it wouldn't record so I just got that fixed at the Apple store. Um, so I'm back and I'm gonna definitely be making more videos again. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to show you a few new things I got, and, um, just, like, an update. And this is Theodore's cage. Um, I think he just went in his little house. Come here. <laughs> Alright, well, a little update thing. I don't really remember what was in my last videos, but I'm pretty sure this wasn't. I added a toilet paper roll, um, to the cage, just as a little tube, and he actually goes in it a lot. Like, I'll catch him sleeping in it sometimes. And here's little Theodore. He's If you're wondering if he's tame, he's completely tame. He's never bit me. He actually kind of came tame because when I got him, he never bit me and he just stays in my hand. And He's super cute. And, um, yeah. And um, I actually got a comment on one of my videos the other day. Someone saying that, uh, I don't remember what it was, but like, oh, well, how is he winter white when he's, like, dark? Um, winter white, it's actually all in the name. Winter white means that they're brown all year, and then they turn white in the winter. The only reason why pearl, I'm per, um, pearl, I mean, the pearl winter whites are white, it's just because, um, it's just genetic, and they just stay white, like, year long. Um, like, Boo, he stays white year long, because he's a pearl, but Theodore's not a pearl, he's just a regular winter white. Um, he's actually gotten a little bit lighter, I don't know if you can see the lighting's really bad, because it's dark where I live right now, but here, I'll try to show you that on his stomach... You can kind of see his paws are getting white and his chest is getting white, as you can kind of see, and the tips of his ears, but it's still only fall. And I'm not sure how white he will get because I live in, like, sunny California. It's always warm here. Like, now it's starting to get a little cold, but I'm not sure if the climate has an effect on his, like, color changing, but it's still only fall, so I'm, like, interested to see what color he's going to change to. But, so, yeah. Um... The next thing I have, I don't know if, I probably have had, I've had this for a while, but this is the crisp chew. Um, oh, food. I changed food. I changed to the um, KT, or KD, KT, um, gourmet recipe. It's for all types of hamsters, dwarf hamsters and gerbils, and you can see, I don't know if you can see, but Theodore is trying to climb on the bag, and he just climbed out of his cage. Come back, one. Come back. He just totally just left his cage. Come here. Okay, I'm just put it back in. Stay. Alright. So, yeah. And the pieces. Let me just move this back a little bit. The pieces just they are a little bit bigger than the 40 Diet. 40 Diet has more like grains in it. There's a little bit left. Have more of the grains. But um, the gourmet recipe has bigger pieces of food. And I realize that my hamsters both like it a lot more. And there's actually pieces of dried fruit in here. And corn, sunflower seeds, everything, like, more, like, nuts and stuff. But they're still seeds, but they like this one a lot better um, than the 40 Diet. Actually, I just realized 40 Diet, it's the same brand as the Gourmet Recipe. They're both a KD brand. But, um, I guess they're just different formulas. Um, another thing that I changed was actually not, like, intentionally. It was just because I wasn't at Petco. Oh, it's also the brand KT. And, um, here it is. It's the uh, KT Clean Comfort Small Pet Bedding. It's just in white, and it has, like, way more bedding in one package than Carefresh has in one. Like, this package will, la like, last me a good almost two months, or maybe, like, a month and a half for two hamsters, and I change them every single week. And it's really, really good. And um, the reason why I have this is I went to Target instead of Petco one weekend. And I had to get bedding. And they didn't have Care Fresh. They only had this KD one. So I just bought this one instead. But um, I really like it. Works well for the hamsters. Um, I did notice it gets a little bit dirty or fast, the cage. But it's, it's okay. And this is how it looks. I'll just get some out. It's more of like a confetti kind of thing than like a thick bedding. But yeah. And, um, that's basically all I changed. I changed it more, um, on Boo's cage, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you can totally see that Theodore is crawling out of his cage. But yeah, that's little Theodore. Um, oh, you may have seen that before in my other videos. I had, um, 
I had an attachment and it was uh what's it called critter trail like tubes that ended horribly it was not end horribly but the tubes ended up coming undone I don't know like it said habit trail was supposed to work but it didn't like it tipped over I came home from school one day and it had tipped over and little Theodore was on my desk behind my other computer and he had brought bedding and food out behind my computer and was just like lying there sleeping and then like he was eating it was just like the weirdest thing ever like he didn't even like run around he just like made a little nest outside of his cage so that didn't work um I'm probably next time maybe for like Christmas or something I'll get like another cage like extension but I'm not sure yet he's been doing well so far so I don't know but I'll eventually get um another cage for him to attach um but yeah so this is little Theodore and next I'll be showing Boo's cage so we just put him back he's so interested like he's like the sweetest little thing. He's so interested in like the outside world. This is his cage. Um, it's the Critter Trail Extreme Challenge Habitat, and he actually, since it's Critter Trail, he got the um, attachment tubes because they stick perfectly, and he really likes them. It's like I feel bad that um, Theodore can't have it since he um, it doesn't really fit well in his cage, and it totally just fell over. So yeah. Oh, and if you're running in my last video, I had the wheel that comes up, like, right here and everything in the slide. I took that out because it was, like, like crowding the cage a lot, and he had nowhere to really roam around. So I, his has the most change. So on the inside, his cage has changed the most. And you can see him, like, right there. Where is he? Over here? Over here. Um, sorry, I'm just getting ready. All right. So this is his cage. I have this. I don't know if you can see really well. But this wheel right here, and it's attached to the wire. He also has a little toilet paper tube that he really likes, and he's always pulling through. And I also bought a dust bath for them, because their fur, I noticed, started getting a little, not really greasy, but a little bit greasy. Um, mostly Theodore, not really Boo. And I'll take that out. And, um, hold on, I have the dust bath. It's called... It's Planet Petco Blue Cloud and Small Pet Animal Dust. Here he is. It's Boo. He's also tame. Okay, so this is a Blue Cloud Small Pet Dust Bath. And that was $3.99. And then I bought this ceramic dish. It's called the Critter Bath for $8.99. It has like a dust bath in there. I only leave the dust bath with them for about like two hours because you're not supposed to leave it for longer. And I put about two inches in there. And they become so fluffy and soft. And they smell like all clean like a little baby hamster again. It's so cute. So yeah, this is little Boo. He used to nibble, doesn't do it anymore. He's super sweet now. And he's all white. He's a little white fat puffball. It's so cute. He still has his um, upstairs like den loft kind of thing, which he's always up in. And there's like a tube going up there. That's basically Boo's cage. I also have a new channel. And it's called Jules, J-U-L-E-S, Beauty One. So Jules Beauty One. Um, my other channel is linked, so you can just click that, and you can go see videos. That's more of like a clothing, hair tutorial, that kind of stuff channel. And I just posted my first video, which was a clothing haul from Urban Outfitters. So you can go check that out on my other channel. Um, this channel, I'll definitely be updating it a lot more now that my camera's working again. Um, and yeah, and if you have any requests for anything, um, you can just comment below or anything you want. There's little Boo. Alright, well, this video is getting really long now, but don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!